<laughs> it was a week, a week not, I'm not sure of miracles, um, but of big football moments. And um, from our point of view, if there could be a big football moment for us as well on the weekend, it would be nice. The week is not over yet, uh, so it's um, Sunday counts to uh, this week, not to next week. So um, of course we go for that. But we, 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 that's the only. Nothing changed really. Uh, we knew it before. It's all good. Um, I think most of the people expected me to sit here today and say, OK, after not being in the Champions League final now, um, it's pretty difficult to become champion. Now we are in the Champions League final. It's still difficult to be champion. And so that's how it is. And um, But the only job, the only thing we can do is to, to win the game. And um, in, in this situation, obviously, it looks like Wolves and Brighton are only like well, they're there. But City will win and we will win and then at the end City is champion. But we have to the, the, the game to play and um, Wolves with ambitions because they showed the whole year real ambition. They enjoyed their football. They are seventh in an unbelievable competitive league from getting promoted last year. So it's it's pretty special. They played wonderful football, a lot of moments that difficult to play, good defending, sensational counter-attacking. Scoring obviously in the right moments, um, staying calm and composed in, 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 in the in important moments of a game. So it's, Nuno's doing an incredible job there, and um, so that makes our game pretty difficult. And on the other hand side, Brighton. Um, yeah, what can I say? They it's their last home game in the, in the in the Premier League season. They know now they will have another one next year for sure. And um, how I know this team. They are full of joy for football, so they will try everything as well. So both teams have to win their games. That's what I want to say, and um, that's not um, sure in that moment. And so we have to focus on that. As well as an incredible title race, four English sides in the finals of European competition as well. What does that say about the Premier League overall? Um, I know what people say. Well, I think what people say about it is it's um, money and stuff like that. Um, but I think in the, if you look at the not only the semi-finals, but if you go, if you look at the way um, Tottenham took to the final with all the difficulties um, after a short summer break, um, and we are missing a lot of players, stuff like that. It's not, it's not about money. It was both. We go, went through because of our desire, and Tottenham is the same. So it was difficult. Huh? I think the, the may, maybe most people would have expected me involved in uh, the Champions League final would be maybe Man City and Bar against Barcelona. So that, that then there's only one. Um, England would only on one English side uh, be involved. Um, European League, there was Napoli in, there was um, a lot of difficult. Valencia obviously was difficult as well. Frankfurt did a wonderful job. Um, but Napoli, I think Atletico from a specific point on, I'm not 100 percent sure, but um, really strong sides involved. So, And it's not, they are not weaker than we are on, or, or in, in this competition, especially. Um, so, yeah, it's. I don't think it will happen a, a lot of times, to be honest, but this year it's nice. Um, for England, obviously, at least uh, the, the big clubs in England want to stay with all they have in Europe. The famous three words of this week is um, in the dressing room, maybe four words, it's only pain. <laughs> yeah, very important for all the young lads to learn, said it already to the boys. Um, Hendo said, it's only pain. Robo said, it's only pain, but it was real pain. Wow! Um, and unfortunately, Robo couldn't. Robo could deal with the pain, only the rest of his body not, because he couldn't really activate the muscle anymore. There was some nerve hit or whatever. Um, they should be fine. The other question? But where? Who else? Uh, Bobby. Yeah, not for the weekend. Um, but yeah, when we have time, and that should be enough. More. Look good around the celebrations after the game. <laughs> yesterday he was, yes, the day before yesterday, and yesterday he was um, running outside, and it will be part of training today. And so two more matches and two more wins will guarantee you at least one trophy. Have you given yourself a moment to think about how you feel about that? No. Why should I? I knew it before the season. If we win the Champions League final, then um, we have a trophy. <laughs> Nothing changed. Only that we are now part of it. Um, no.
I didn't think that far ahead, and um, really, it's only it's only words. It's it's a challenge in a week like this, because uh, you get millions of messages, and nobody speaks about the weekend. It's all about unbelievable how you played and stuff like that, and all the best, and now you do it, and blah blah blah. All the things we we play wolves, and we know that, and we will we are focused on that, and um, that's all. Does make the. The achievement of, of Tuesday night uh, only a little bit smaller. It's, it was incredible, for sure. It was for sure one of the best moments in football history, not only Liverpool. And that's for sure. But um, has nothing to do with the weekend. Apart from that, we should be confident enough uh, for the game. But it's always an important part of football. But Wolves want to show that they are. Uh, not only passengers, and that they are really, uh, they are real, real good football team, and I respect that a lot. So we have to be ready. Coaches, oh who? Everyone in this football. Oh, but it's it's not a real problem. It's just it's a, it's a look as a football player, you are you and a manager as well. You are you are used to to. Okay, we are not used to moments of glory, but you win from time to time football games. You are used to 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 um, to, to deal with that, and unfortunately, we have to. Learn pretty early in our lives that how to deal with defeat, so that that's what we know. But staying on focus, staying on track is not a problem. We are, to, to, we are not we are not kids anymore, so um, we are we are adults, and we, we, we deal with that. The day after when we came in and was recovery, you, you can imagine you need a hammer to 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 punch the smile out of the faces. But um, that's just uh, um, uh, that's clear. But. That's not a day of information. That's a day of recovery and good feeling and, and coming together and do the right things to bring the boys back on, yeah, um, on another fitness shape and uh, level. And that's now. Yesterday was off. We did it. They made the day off for the boys, and um, so good for them. Today we start again and now prepare the game. It's really we are not that much in routines that we have to do it always the same way. We we reacted the whole year pretty, pretty um, flexible on 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 different things because. Was so intense for the boys. So we, I, I think, we had much more days off on on days I would never have done it before in my life as a manager, because just the intensity was so big. That I said, okay, come on, stay at home. It's not too good. It's not too cool. Maybe we could train a little bit, but you have to. You need to get used to things like that, to the intensity of the league. And this year was again a very intense year, and will be again an intense year. And on the first of June, we play a Champions League final, and on the sixth of June, there's a wonderful tournament which is called Nations Cup. And everybody looked at me when I said, that's not such a good idea. And now, whoops, it's a surprise. Two teams are in the Champions League final and they are English. And if there would be a Dutch team in, then it would not be not better. Only for another country, the problem. So it's just, if we don't learn, if we don't learn um, to deal with our players in a better way, competition-wise, then it's the only chance to kill this wonderful game. Because without the players, it's not a good one. Huh? So, and that's, but now, um, other people have to deal with that. It, I don't. It's not Gareth's fault, obviously. But um, planning something like this and being surprised that two top teams are in the Champions League final and a lot of players of these teams are involved in the Nations Cup. That's interesting planning. If we would plan like this, we would be completely surprised every weekend that there's another Premier League game. Yeah. So, and um, thank God we are not. Quite a few broadcasters in after the regulars first. Do you guys have anything for you in the It may sound stupid and ridiculous, but like you never much sleep because of the intensity, the happiness, the adrenaline. Everything from Tuesday night just seems to sort of just <laughs> seems to just keep rolling and rolling and rolling. Yeah, well, as much as I obviously need to. Um, um, yeah. No problem. The, the, the time is intense in, in general, so it was not only the Champions League game didn't make it more intense or whatever. We had to play it anyway, um, and yeah, after a game like this, I, I'm meanwhile I'm completely rather done than the other way around. So it means then I'm, I can sleep very well so and pretty early if possible. Um, the only problem is um, that all the other guys in my age group know that we wake up pretty early. <laughs> There are not enough points that a lot of teams can, uh, in general, um, that um, a lot of teams can get so many points because um, other teams will get them as well. But um, I don't know. I don't know. The only thing is the, the difference between City, us, and other teams who are for sure 
quality-wise, not worse. It was consistency. That's why we are. Well, that's why we have the amount of points. That's it. And we pushed each other in this in this thing. Well, it's, it's so exceptional that you lose only one game so far. And City, I don't know. Um, they lost three. I don't know exactly, but uh, they didn't draw, obviously. Um, and um, so it's so it's really rare. But it's not important that next year again it's it's for being champion and not for collecting 500 points. Um, if if somebody becomes champion with 67 points or 70 points, deserved. It's a it's a difficult season then in another manner. So and this year another kind. Um, and this year um, we have to. Obviously, to win each game, to have a chance. But I, I don't know if it will happen um, a lot more. Jurgen, Anfield as a stadium and the fans that, that go there, there's, there's a history of its mythical qualities. Started off by Bill Shankly, carried on by others. How do you think you've been able to forge this, this special bond that you have with the fans? Because it, it isn't given to all managers that they have this following that becomes a, a big part of, of the success of the team? I don't know. Well, I, I don't know. Um, it's all about, if that's possible in Liverpool, then it's in, mainly about the supporters, about the people and not about me, because um, um, they have to deal with me. I'm an individual and they think it's good or not good. I have, I have If I want to love the Liverpool fans, I have a lot more a bigger choice. <laughs> Um, because there are so many different people and they have to deal with me, with my correct character and all that stuff. So that's how it is. So I have no clue that boss is a pure how it always is in life. It's luck or coincidence that it that it fits so well, but it is it is a, a, a proper um, fit. But it's all about the performance of the boys. I could be the most funny guy in the world if the boys would not play good football, nobody would laugh about my jokes. That's my life. And um that's um, how it is. So it's all about the boys. It's always about the boys. They have to deliver whatever information I give them. If they don't take it, no chance. And um, the group of players we have here is is so special. If I have to, since Tuesday, maybe Wednesday morning, if I have to to find a, a very short description for the group, I would say it's only pain. That's how they went through the season. Um, it was always pain, um, it was always hard, it was always difficult, but it's only pain. Let's carry on. In Wolves, your final opponent, you could hardly have more difficult opposition because they're better against the top six sides than they are the bottom six. They're better when they have less possession. They play with proper wing backs, and they really are a talented team away from home. Oh, yeah, generally tell the team, yeah. But of course, it's a big challenge when you when you are developing. Then you create one style of play, what you obviously did, um, and then um, immediately in the Premier League you realize, ah, the other one is not on the same level. So, my, like creating, having possession, passing around. But they are not bad in that as, uh, as well. They have um, Moutinho in midfield, Ruben Neves in midfield, whoever plays with the boys there, um, they change a bit, they don't go. Whoever, um, that's um, that's just it's just quality. But they, what they, what they have, the quality is, is big. But what they have, they created really a style of play where everybody um, signs in. All the players want to be part of that style of play. So they could play. I think that's pretty rare. But I think apart from two or three games, they played exactly the same three players in the last line. The whole year. it's unbelievable. So um, that's that's really that's really rare. And they have um, good spirit. Good, good match plan. It's just, it's just good, and so that makes them obviously. Yeah, but now we don't play the first time against a team who's really good in counter attacks. So if we have and we play, then that's that's normal that uh, that we have to take care for that, and that's what we will do, and um, for sure. But um, how I said, three days until we have to play. Until then, we will be prepared. I'm sure. But um, we will see. Nothing. I can say. I would, my my favorite answer would be I don't talk about. Um, Contracts and things like this. When they have still a contract, right? So I don't talk about contracts, even if they finish after the season. Nothing to say, really. It's not the time for for, for these things. But the, the, the only important thing in this moment is that the players know and we know, yeah, not the rest of the world. Anything else, Cal? Uh, yeah, just on the Champions League and, and getting to the final. It, obviously, great celebration, everything. Do you have some sympathy with? The fans who are now scrambling to get tickets 
Because then you see oh, 100 percent. Oh, 100 percent. Um, I always thought the worst thing is what petrol stations are doing when the holiday time starts, so when they increase out of the blue, the, the, all of a sudden the, the prices. But obviously, travel agencies and um, and, and hotels um, are not silly. Um, yeah, it's, it's difficult. Uh, died, um, but I think with Madrid, even it's expensive, that's clear, unbelievably expensive. But at least it's not another part of the world. But going to Baku in a, a European League final, that's um, really funny. I think obviously these guys who make the decisions, I don't know what they have for breakfast really when they do it. Because it's just how can you... Last year we go to Kiev, which is a wonderful city, but that a Russian team or a team from that part of the world will be involved is not really likely. So um, then you go there and everybody has to prepare. Now obviously Madrid has to be prepared for, I don't know, 200,000 English fans. They knew before that it could happen. Um, if the Ajax would be in, yeah, there would be a few more Dutch, I can imagine that. So and now in Baku, I have no clue how to go there, if there's any regular flight at all. So, and if how that's, how I say, we meet in these, it's, these decisions, they must must be much more sensible, much more reasonable. It's, it's just, it looks like, and responsible for, for especially, I don't know how, how they do it, but, um, and maybe there's kind of a, in the cities they get the final, I don't know, they have to make kind of a price cut before to agree to something that it will be not more than this in a specific category. I heard now a room which you can get usually for 100 um, pound is, uh, it's now 2,700. It's just, it's just crazy. So, um, yeah, what can I say? I sympathize a lot with that, yeah, of course. No, that's um, completely normal. That's completely normal. Um, I would say maybe a little advice is maybe um, our supporters shouldn't celebrate the result at Brighton until it's uh, not and before it's three nil for Brighton, and eighty seven or eighty eight minutes played. <laughs> All the rest is only an information, nothing, nothing else. So. Um, our people are so smart. They they did so well over the years. It's unbelievable. Um, so, but it's that's life, and we will not. Um, I don't know. Um, say it's not allowed or whatever. We are human beings, so react to whatever you want. But the best thing would be to be really in our game because that's the only game we have really influence on. Anything for TV too? Yeah. Um, you say that it's only about pain. And after the uh, the Barcelona match, you spoke about the mentality of giants of your players. What other parts makes them, you know, giants of mentality? Because it's been very impressive how the players have coped with everything this season. The readiness to de to to deal with difficulties, to deal with problems in a game. That's how it is. Because um, we have a, we have a specific plan for a game. And then um, it never works out 100%. And then you have to, but to stay, to stick to the plan, then it's it's really important. So the the relationship between us is um, is um, got better and better and better and better because of our what we said, our own experiences, what we did together, what we what we wanted to go to do, what we uh, how we deal with the moments when when it was not uh, that. Um, Beautiful and um, all that stuff. So we really, we the boys did really uh, an unbelievable consistent job. And being consistent is is the, is the most difficult things in life, but in football as well, because there are a lot of um, good footballers out there. But um, to 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 show your quality week in and week out is unbelievable. That's the most important thing to be really successful. And that was the biggest step, obviously, we did so far. So the boys were a lot of times really happy. During a week, it's like, but then there was never a moment when I had to tell them, "Come on, now calm down." Now information again, so they were always in the right moment there again. So that's how it is. But how can we get 94 points um, until this point, and um, with having a, I don't know, a random group of players? We don't have that. We have a really special group, um, and that's why we are where we are. But um, we are still. There are still two very important games to play, and one of them is on Sunday, and um, we need exactly the same again. And um, yeah, if we can do that, then we have a chance to win the game. If we have a chance, we should do it. 
congratulations to Paul James. It was brilliant, <laughs> unbelievable. I would have said, but to be honest, um, what Ajax did um, in the whole campaign is just incredible, unbelievable. So I would say in the game, in the, in the final now, are the two games, uh, the two teams with um, who showed biggest heart in the whole competition. I would say the, best, the most talented group um, is out in the semi-final because Ajax age group wise and stuff like that so many uh, wonderful players running there around and they had to pay a price a little bit for the intensity of the game and for the good decisions um, um, Maurizio didn't have time eh? so bringing on Lorente obviously was a master strike and um, then having direction in the game and all that stuff so they changed it completely um, and that's football on the other side as well so first half um, I watched the game, obviously, and because of the problems around, we have the same problems in family and friends, so booking hotels and stuff like that for the final, obviously, it's, it's for all this, us the same. And uh, then my, my son told me, probably the Ajax fans start now booking. So in half time, because in, uh, each minute can be decisive price-wise. Eh? So, and um, yeah, that's it.